All right, guys, please subscribe to the channel. An upcoming video is going to be the flexible advantage of the DCD996. Finally, again, see which one of these is actually better. Today, Mac Cube Tools, let's see in how Bosch's Freak compares to the Freak I made. This is the DeWalt DCF850. As you can see, it is a half inch and quarter inch X collet. So is the Bosch Freak. And let's actually do a little versus video and see it, how well these do against each other. And if you're interested in the specs, specs are gonna be towards the end of the video. All right, so the batteries on these are full. Full bars. And just like so you guys know, this is variable trigger only. The DeWalt is on speed three. We are gonna do a regular lug nut and we're gonna do the locking lug nut. Time. Let's put that back in. Put that back to 150 foot pounds. And 150 foot pounds is not a lot of torque, you guys, so you don't need to ooga dooga these like crazy. All right, next, let's try the extension. And the DeWalt cannot. The wall is unable to do that. They both failed at that. Uh, an impact wrench is needed for that one. All right, first we're gonna do a five inch ledger lock, then we're gonna do a three eighths by five inch lag, then a four inch by half inch lag, a six inch by half inch lag, then an eight inch by half inch lag. Let's see how well these do. Let's take that out. Not too shabby. Next, let's do the 3 8 inch lag. See, these are powerful tools, you guys. They really are. Tools these days are unbelievably powerful. Next, let's do a six by half inch lag. Wow. Let's see, a little bit more. That should be good, perfect. All right, let's take that out. Wow, I can tell that the DeWalt's more, a little bit more powerful. Yeah, the, this is gonna struggle with that eight inch lag. An eight inch by half inch lag. Let's see how well this Bosch does. Wow. Snap. There we go. I think that's good. Can I get out of there? A little bit more. That's good. All right, let's take it out. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I'm proud of what I made, you guys. I am. I am proud that I made a DeWalt Freak. 129 degrees for the Bosch and 103 degrees for the DeWalt. And that's only because the DeWalt was powerful enough to where it worked less. So the Bosch was running more because it's not as powerful, so it got hotter. All right, so let's actually test these out. Let's see how well these actually work. And look at that. Alrighty, so I got its own separate video coming on this. So let's uh let's test this out. Let's see how well these actually do. We are actually gonna test out all three. The size of this one is five eighths. Like I said, the Bosch's uh anvil is not quick insert. You gotta adjust it to put it in. Battery is at four bars out of five on the Bosch. And so the battery is three bars on the DeWalt. 
Like I said, the problem with this anvil, it's only magnetic. So we'll see what it does when I'm pulling this back up. See, I'm amazed that it even went that far. I thought it was immediately gonna uh, just fall right out. Like as soon as it touches the wood when you pull it back up. So now let's do a three quarter inch. Alrighty, let's do the three quarter with the DeWalt. Wow, see, like that easy to take it out. It, the magnet actually holds that in, which is crazy. Just one and a quarter inch. Alright, so I'll show you guys with the issue, that magnet, uh, even a more powerful magnet is not going to resist that. Alright, let's do one more test with the uh, one inch. The final temperature for the Bosch is 116 degrees for the Bosch. Time. All right, let's see if it could come out without releasing as I'm pulling the trigger. Almost, but not bad, you guys. These actually are awesome. I bought these a while ago. I meant to do a video on these, but now I did. More videos are coming. I'm going to be using these for now on in my videos for the test and versus stuff. These are good bits to use. And the final battery for the DeWalt is three bars out of three. And the final temperature of the DeWalt is. These actually cool down, which is crazy. 104 degrees for the DeWalt. All right, the Bosch with a four amp hour battery is three pounds and 6.9 ounces. And the DeWalt with a four amp hour battery, three pounds and 4.8 ounces. The Bosch is 146.4 millimeters. DeWalt is 114.1 millimeters. It is 57.4 millimeters. The DeWalt is 60.7. Not too shabby, you guys. Like I said, this DeWalt DCF850 as you can see right there, DCF850. It is my favorite impact driver and I turn it into a freak. Quarter inch hex collet, half inch anvil. The quarter inch hex is only magnetic. It stays in there, but once you pull on it, it will come out. It does stay in there by itself, but a little pull, it comes out and the Bosch's freak is actually a quarter inch hex, a real quarter inch hex collet where it's in there. So like I said, there is a downfall when it comes to this anvil. Please forgive me, I do not have my professional mic here, so I have to use the mic on the laptop. But Bosch is a GDX18V 1800B12. $99 as a kit, a special buy over at Lowe's. 18 volt system, 1800 inch pounds of torque, 4200 impacts per minute, 3400 RPM, and three year warranty. Comic is DCF850, it is a $159 tool only. It is a 20 volt system, 1825 inch pounds of torque, 3,800 impacts per minute and 3,250 RPM and three year warranty. All right, so neither of these tools did a bad job. You know, I can totally tell that the DeWalt did better when it comes to most of the tests. But like I said, the flaw of that anvil, the quarter inch hex end of a bit cannot lock into place. It's only magnetically held in, but both of these did a fantastic job. I'm glad I finally opened this up from like a month and a half ago to test these out. And I was seriously surprised to see that uh, there isn't much resistance taking the bit back out of the hole because as you can see from the Irwin You got to use might for it to pull out Some impact drivers actually can't hold on to that much pressure in reverse and it releases the bit But the Bosch didn't the DeWalt did that's because I changed the anvil So I have like 700 and something videos. Please subscribe to the channel go check the videos out I have plenty of tool tests as you can see my walls my walls are crazy filled and I did so many videos for the past couple of years. So that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nichols. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.